Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to use the resources for your animal research. So each resource has its own slide on your animal research report Google Slides. So let's go ahead and start with Ducksters. I've typed out the instructions for you as well, or you can of course just watch the video if you need help. So the link to the website will be provided either in the title or on the picture on the little computer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it takes me to the Ducksters animal page. So let's say I am researching, let's do a flamingo. So I'm gonna click on flamingo under birds and it's gonna take me to the page all about flamingos. Next up we have Britannica. So I'm gonna click on the link, either from that title or the picture. And then it's gonna take me to animal classification. So I know a flamingo is a bird. So I'm gonna click on birds. And then you'll see it has a couple of um, different categories over here. So I'm gonna say flamingos and or water birds. And there they are. And you can, of course, if you're not quite sure, just click around until you find it. Clicking on flamingo. And you can see it has an article right here for me, some pictures and videos over here. Now if you decide that this is not enough information for you, if you would like some more, you can click, see we're on reading level one right here, if you click on reading level two, it will take you to another page with a bit of a longer article. And if you decide that's not enough, click on reading level three and it will take you to an even longer article. And if you would like to listen to it while you read, you can press up here. Flamingo, order Phenicopteriformis, any of six species of tall, pink waiting. And it'll read it to you if you would prefer that. Next we have kids info bits. So again, just clicking to access that website. And we'll see the top one up here is animals. Again, clicking on the animal classification. I'm going to click birds. And then it's going to come up with a large list of all of the animals that it has access to on here. There are flamingos. And it's going to give me a ton of articles, pictures, magazines, newspaper articles. So let's see. I think I'm going to click flamingos about flamingos, this article. And then I can read about it and I'm gonna say, oh, well, you know, I didn't really like that one. So I can go back and I can find some, click on book articles, scroll through all of the things about flamingos until I find an article that I really like. All right, and the last one we are going to use are the eBooks. So I have linked Epic and Tumble Books. So Epic, Click on Epic, and we know how to use Epic. We've used it all year, so up in the search bar right here, I'm just going to enter Flamingo and search. And I can pick a book about flamingos. Remember, you want it to be a non-fiction book, so I don't want to click on Marco Flamingo in the Jungle. I want to click on a non-fiction book. We know how to identify those. And then I can read through a book all about flamingos. And then finally, we have Tumble Books. If it um, makes you put in a password or a username and password, I've listed it right there for you. Then I'm going to click on Tumble Books. I'm going to go to Nonfiction and click on Animals and scroll through and see if I see any books that I could possibly use. So let's see if flamingo is a bird. So I'm going to click on that one and then I can watch the video of the read aloud and see if there's anything, information that I can use. And we can also look in videos underneath animals and nature to see if there are any about my animal. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful in helping you find your information and using your resources. I can't wait to see your projects.